Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jason, Thrift Trader, and today I just wanted to come to you with a video in regards to how you can set up and start selling on Amazon, particularly creating FBA shipments. So hang tight and we will get started. Okay, so we are at the sellercentral.amazon.com website or webpage, and this is where um, everything Amazon happens as far as a seller is concerned and right here you can register if you haven't if you don't have an account yet you can register right here so you click that button and right here is where you would register for a professional account it's forty dollars a month okay but if you only have a few items to sell or you just want to give it a try scroll down here to the very bottom and sign up to become an individual individual seller right down here but um, so that's how you would sign up and uh, since I'm already signed up I'm gonna log in and we will get started okay so once we are logged in this is going to be the very the very front page inside seller central and although it looks pretty daunting there's a lot of things going on here it's don't you know don't let it eat your lunch it looks l a lot more difficult than what it actually is um, here you can see I've got one unshipped order I made an order today for a hundred dollars um, I sold it merchant fulfilled so I have to ship it to my uh, to my buyer but we are gonna get started making an FBA shipment order so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to catalog and then right here is where you'll type in the product SKU so for instance for instance I have uh, I picked up a bunch of these little um, dolls they're called Fuggler and uh, picked them up for five dollars a piece on clearance at Walmart so here I am just inputting the product SKU number here it is okay so what you want to do is you want to look for you'll click here and you'll look for listing limitations okay so I am not able to sell this item in refurbished or used condition luckily for me these are brand new so I can sell them but something you want to do before or when you're outsourcing for product to sell on Amazon you always want to check using the Amazon seller app on your phone or you know however you want to you always want to check to make sure that you're not gated or restricted from selling a product before you purchase it okay I've been uh, I've done that in the past where I buy something thinking man this is gonna sell great and then I get it home only to find out that I am restricted from selling that product so you want to double check that before you make any purchases but since we're going to be able to sell this, I'm going to go click sell yours. Okay. Now, once we're on this page, I usually click right here, um, competing marketplace offers. It'll open up a third tab, and you can look to see what the cheapest one is going for right now. It's twenty dollars seventy-four cents. We want to look at the prime listings because since we're selling or since we're sending this to Amazon as an FBA shipment, our listings will also be prime. Uh, prime uh, prime listings and in in my experience prime listings can usually fetch four or five dollars more um, versus a uh, non prime listing uh, if there's no prime listings uh, available on the on uh, on that product but for instance in this case there are prime competitors so what we want to do is we want to try and win the buy box okay the buy box is essentially let me see if I can here let me open this in a new tab and I'll show you what the buy box is okay so right here well this particular one does not have a buy box but what a buy box is is right here this right here will say uh, buy now okay and essentially prime members or prime listings typically get the buy box 
typically, not always, but typically. And um, if you win the buy box because your lowest price or however it is, um, you'll sell more and you'll sell faster. But since this one right here does not have a buy box, it's not a big deal. Um, we're still going to match the prime, uh, the prime price here, the lowest price, twenty dollars seventy four cents. So we're going to go to condition. We're going to select new. We're going to go twenty dollars seventy four cents. Okay. And right here it says advanced view. For instance, if this was a used product, you'd you'd uh, select you know a used condition here. And you're going to have different conditional, uh, uh, different tiers of used condition. You'll have used like new, used very good, used good, used acceptable. Okay. But you also want to put in condition notes. And the reason why on used products that you want to put in condition notes is so that your buyer is more aware of the condition of the item. So. All right, enough talk about that. So here we've got everything that we need for this item. So I'm going to I'm going to hit save and finish. <clears throat> okay. Right here, um, this next screen, it's saying Amazon barcode or manufacturer barcode. Okay. There's two things you can do here. When when you use the manufacturer barcode, what Amazon will do once they receive your shipment is they'll put it in a pile of the same item that has come through from other sellers. And they'll just pull one by one in a random order to send to your buyer. The problem with that is say, Joe, sell, I'm a seller of the item and I, and I chose uh, uh, manufacturer barcode. And then Joe is also a seller of the item and he sent one in and he chose manufacturer barcode. But Joe is not honest in saying that his item is new. Um, say his item was used and he just repacked it and is trying to sell it as new. Okay, And it gets to your buyer because Amazon's just picking from this bin. Um, you would be held responsible for the return. So I always suggest choosing Amazon barcode for that very reason, that very purpose. To keep, uh, so that the product, the very same product that you are sending in, the very same box that you're sending in, gets sent to your customer. Um, because at that point, you know the condition and you won't you won't have to worry about a situation like that happening so we're always going to choose Amazon barcode hit save and continue and then here on this it's got a couple of required information uh, or questions uh, to be answered so it's asking here if, if this product has a battery or if it utilizes batteries it does not and then it's asking if the product is considered a dangerous good or hazardous material regulated for transportation storage and or waste the answer is no so we'll submit that and then we'll save and continue now this very this is the very first product that we're listing okay to start a uh, a shipment okay so this next page is asking if you're sending an individual product or if you're sending a case packed product what a case pack product would be, say, is if you purchased an entire case of one item. That would be considered a case packed product. You don't have to unpack the case, you would just select case packed product. But in this instance, this is just an individual product. So we're going to continue to shipping plan. Now we have just started our shipping plan. Okay. And here we're going to enter the number of units that we have of this particular item. So let me count them up real quick. Okay, looks like I have six of these. So we'll put six there, and I just click somewhere on the exterior uh, part of this page here, just so that it saves uh, saves the page. So then we're going to exit out of that, and we're going to do it all over again with our next product. So for instance, here's a different one.
here it is okay select sell yours new condition okay we'll select new we'll go right here to look at our competitors seventeen dollars forty cents is the cheapest one so we'll just hit match lowest price save and finish Amazon bar barcode save and continue you come here no no submit save and continue individual okay now now that we've started an FBA shipment okay we're gonna go here and add it to an existing shipping plan this is very important okay right here you want to add to the existing shipping plan and this is the one that we'll choose okay this is the one that had the the first product on it and I only have one of these alright on to the next one okay so here is something to look at this person just launched and their items are back ordered right now so that means that they've already told Amazon they have this shipment to ship in okay um, here's the issue though they're undercutting the price by a large margin 1498 was uh, was the cheapest before they came in so this is what we're gonna do and this is kind of trickery all right so you right click actually I'll just click it I'm adding it to my cart okay okay so just out of curiosity I want to see how many this person has in stock so we're gonna go 10 plus and we're gonna type in 99 and hit update okay this seller only has one of these available okay so I'm not at all concerned about them selling it for $13 I'm gonna price mine probably right here 1498 See so guys, it's just a lot of repetition. Okay, it's not, it's not difficult, and especially when you're dealing with new products, it's so much faster than listing on eBay. So much faster. All right, how many of these do I have? Now with this guy, there are no FBA sellers. 
So what I'm going to end up doing is putting this up for $49.99 because there are no FBA sellers currently. Save and finish. Submit. And I have four of these. So I have 23 of these total. Now that we're done, okay, so this is all I've got to send in. So now that we're done, all right, we're going to click continue. And now we've got, uh, this is where it's going to, if you look up here, it's going to, kind of show you the sequence or the order to get this inventory um, ready for Amazon okay so right now we're at prepare products this is where Amazon would tell you if you need to poly bag something um, or you know prepare the product further for shipment okay or for storage but nothing nothing else is necessary for these products okay um, what it would do is it would tell you the prep guidance here um, it would tell you you know what what it is that you would need to do in order to get it ready so like if you listed a plush doll or you told Amazon hey I've got this plush doll that I need to send to you um, Amazon would tell you that they need you to poly bag it before you send it okay but nothing is required here all right so now we're labeling these products remember back just a little bit ago we said we could choose either the manufacturer label label Ooh, excuse me or we could choose the Amazon label well now we've chosen the Amazon label so now we have to print these labels and label our products okay right here you can select um, Amazon to, to label it for you but it costs 20 cents per unit okay for Amazon to label it so I'm gonna label it and save that money um, so we'll go to print labels for this page right here here it is and I use the Avery 30 sheets per label to do mine and I'll show you here in just a minute what they look like they're just like little through the th or 30 labels per sheet is what I meant to say and I'm just sticking it in my printer right now so that I can print this hit print I'm going to make sure it prints right before I close out of the window. And this looks really good. So bear with me and we'll go through how to label these. Okay, so we just got done printing the labels. Now we have to stick them on our products. And this is what the labels look like. Okay. Um, this is these are the labels that I use and they're just um, Avery 8160 they're 30 labels per sheet they're uh, easy peel address labels okay lifesaver all right so when we go through here We've got the four gray ones for the first ones that we did. No, they weren't the first ones. Let me figure this out. Uh. 
<coughs> I've got to <clears throat> what I'm gonna do just for uh okay the munch munch all right this guy's called the munch munch so what you'll do is you'll stick the Amazon label over the manufacturer's barcode okay just like that and you'll do this for every one of these okay but uh, also, something else that you want to make sure of is that you don't have like any clearance stickers or any uh, Walmart or wherever you bought these. Make sure that there's no other stickers on these, okay, before you send them in. So I'm gonna run through this, and then uh, and then we'll see what we do after that. Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got all of our items labeled, we're going to hit continue. And here we have, this is where Amazon is going to tell you where they want the items sent to. Okay, so we are going to send all 23 of these to three different places all right so first you have FBA uh, this is shipment one shipment two shipment three and they're going to different fulfillment centers so the first shipment is going to go to Salt Lake City Utah the second one to Minnesota and the third to Dallas of course um, the majority of the units are going to be going to Dallas which is I'm happy about because that's closest to me since I live in Oklahoma well closest for now we actually have an Amazon fulfillment center being built as we speak 10 minutes away from my house so anyways um, bear with me for just a second let me show you okay view shipment contents so you can click that right there and you can see which one of these needs to go um, in this box for shipment okay and the same for this one and this one so bear with me for just a minute I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna get uh, these boxes um, ready for these three shipments so hang tight okay I have packed up all three boxes uh, for all three shipments and I was able to keep every shipment into one box now if you have to you can use more than one box per shipment you would just have to tell Amazon how many boxes you have and what SKUs are in each box but since we've got everything in one box per shipment we're just going to at this point go to approve and continue okay now this is where um, like the first shipment you'll go to work on shipment right here this is where you'll choose either UPS or FedEx I'm going to choose FedEx and uh, I do not share shipment this is I believe this is in regards to like if you have a supplier for products you can share your shipment with them um, but this is a less than truckload so uh, th or this is not less than truckload I mean technically it is but you're not shipping pallets okay so this is just individual boxes so we'll keep small parcel delivery checked FedEx check 
Um, you can use UPS also. It's just whatever's uh, easiest for you. And then um, right here is where you would choose everything is in one box or um, more than one SKU per box, uh, totaling 15 boxes or less, which would mean that your shipment for this particular shipment is more than one box. Um, but uh, everything's in one box for me. And the box weight for this is three pounds two ounces. So uh, let me get a calculator real quick. Uh, two ounces. Two out of sixteen is what? Point one two five. So three point two. Three point two pounds. And it's uh, thirteen by eleven by nine. and then we're going to confirm that calculate the shipping charges five dollars twenty eight cents I accept the charges now this is where you would print your box labels you just click that here's the, the label I usually make sure that it fits the page. Just makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> okay. And let me show you how to attach these to the boxes. So hang tight. Okay, so once you have your label printed out, okay, what you'll want to do is you'll attach both these labels to the box. But you don't want to cover the seam of the box where the box opens. They don't like that. Okay, so when you're done, it'll look like this or similar to it. You'll have one label on one side and the other label on the other side, or it doesn't matter as long as both labels are on the top of the box and it's not covering the seam. Um, this one, this label in particular, is for uh, FedEx, and this is for Amazon. This label is, but you'll do that. Uh, You'll do that for all three boxes. Okay, so that was for the first shipment. Okay, so now let's work on the second shipment. So we'll just complete the shipment here for the first one. And we'll go to work on another shipment. Here's the second one. Alright, I'm choosing FedEx. Everything's in one box. The box weight for this one is two pounds four ounces, so that'd be 2.25. So we'll say 2.3. 16, 13, 6. Confirm. Calculate. 528. Accept charges. Print your label. Make sure your label prints well.
name. And that one's good, so we'll complete the shipment there. Work on another shipment. Here's our last shipment. It's our big one. FedEx. Select an option. This is going all in one box. Box weight here is 9 pounds, 9.2 pounds. 18 by 18 by 13. Confirm. Calculate. Look at there. Alright, this is something, okay, a lot of people are like freaked out by the, the amount of discounts that you really get when you're shipping to FBA. Look, I'm sending a 9 pound box, 18 by 18 by 13, it's pretty good size, to Dallas from Oklahoma for $5.03. That's amazing. Come on, there we go. Accept charges. Print box label. All right, here we go, complete shipment. Now, all three of these shipments are done. So if you go to um, manage FBA shipments, you'll see the three that we just created right here. Created on January 3rd, last updated on January 3rd. And then here's my uh, great big shipment from a couple of days ago. these right here this one this one this one and this one all the rest of these are closed okay so what you can do at this point is you go to manage inventory and once your items okay so see here where it says out of stock They'll go in stock after Amazon receives the product and checks in your uh, your your shipment. Okay, so that's when everything will go in stock. All right. So the only thing that you have to do at this point, after Amazon gets it and it checks in, is just monitor your prices. You can just click on this thing right here. Look to see you know what the what the prices are. $17 and uh, you know sometimes it shows up here where it says lowest price but you always want to check it just to make sure you can click that right there and see also but you want to monitor your prices look at this what's this one about okay see there see we already saw uh, the the one that was Priced at uh, $16.99. Where was that? Or $18.99 has already sold. So now the cheapest price is $22.95. And we don't want to leave money on the table, so we're going to go ahead and change that price to match that one. Of course, right now it doesn't matter, only because our product's not in stock with Amazon and it's not for sale yet. But when it is, you want to uh, you want to pay attention to these prices. They actually have tools for auto repricing and things of that sort. Manage pricing here. Um, you know, right here, it's it, it'll tell you if you're the lowest. But see, here's the thing: if it says you're the lowest, it won't tell you the next lowest. So you could be you could be the lowest by like four or five dollars. 
which means you're leaving money on the table so but uh, anyways that's for another whole entire video guys it really is Alright guys, really that is it in a nutshell. That's how you start and finish an Amazon FBA shipment. I mean, it's really, really simple. It's really easy. It's amazing. Um, and I hope that this video teaches you guys something for those of, the, those of you that have been kind of scared to start on Amazon. Uh, only because um, unsure and uncertainty of what lies ahead. I mean the simplicity of it is I mean it's really easy to do uh, much easier than it looks um, and I hope that you guys realize that um, again you know until next time keep on picking that trash and making that cash we'll catch y'all next time